Thank you. Thank you. It's a beautiful day in the great state of Illinois. You know, in Illinois we always say, um, if you don't like the weather, wait 20 minutes. We also say, um, if you don't like the governor, uh, wait 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you for choosing my hometown of Chicago. Uh, Chicago is all about making important choices. Uh, the Cubs or the White Sox. Deep dish or thin crust? O'Hare or Midway? Uh, lately, Chicago politicians have been making important choices too, uh, like plead guilty or innocent, uh, bench trial or jury trial, or minimum or maximum security. But since you were kind enough to invite me here, uh, I'd like to return the favor. Stop by the White House sometime. <laughs> Is my last state dinner approved? Uh, you don't even need an invitation. We need to find creative ways to save money and reduce expenditures. I'm doing my part. I've frozen Sasha and Malia's allowances, uh, Michelle's eBay, and we've currently refinanced the White House. Uh, <laughs> Also, we've reduced the amount of uh, cars in the presidential motorcade. Uh, Tim Geithner and Rahm Emanuel will now take turns running alongside my limo. <laughs> We're here talking about health care. Uh, here are a few changes to the plan. And again, hear me out. For starters, my plan has a name. H-F-E-E-R-L. Health care for everyone except Rush Limbaugh. Thank you. My health care plan will raise taxes for people making more than $250,000 a year. Coincidentally, it also caps the presidential salary at $249,999 and some change. Under my administration, if you so much as sneeze, you should be able to get reimbursed to have that sneeze taken care of. It's called my Cash for Colts program. Everybody's upset because this couple had their picture taken with me and weren't on the RSVP list. But this is no news. People have been getting in the White House without an invitation for some time. Like these guys. And speaking of Geithner, um, man, that guy's a whiz with numbers. Um, just this morning, he left a startling statistic on my desk. Did you know that 75% of the people in America make up three quarters of the population? <laughs> That's true. Do the math. Now, the Secret Service agents that were responsible for clearing the Salahis were relieved of their duty and placed on detail of lesser importance, like taking care of this guy. I want to say that after all this dinner hoopla, um, I still have complete confidence in my Secret Service protection. I made that statement at a press conference just a few days ago, and this picture was taken shortly after. Uh, my number one goal in the fight against terrorism is to find Osama bin Laden. Right now we know bin Laden is somewhere hiding in a cave in Afghanistan. And we also know that we have over 200 million pounds of surplus non-fat dry milk in caves near Kansas City. Mark my words, when Bin Laden comes looking for milk, we'll be waiting for him. I'm here today to talk about health care and health centers. And I know some of you have criticized me uh, for not visiting a health center since I took office. Uh, you know, Joe Biden uh, was supposed to visit one, but I was having a summit at the White House and someone needed to go grab the beer. You know, I found out that an effective way to settle issues is to do it over beer. Uh, so next week, I'm inviting every uninsured American uh, to the White House for a beer. Go 
Without any tax increases, uh, I stand before you today and give you my word that there will be no new taxes on dry milk, cheese, butter, or whey. But there will be a huge tax on I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I may tax cheese whiz as well, just because I think there's something weird about cheese in an aerosol can. <laughs> Have you ever had cheese whiz? I think it's the only food that we send to our troops that they actually send back. Since I've taken office, I've appointed a new Surgeon General, and I've got a lot of questions for her about important topics like the swine flu. Uh, first question, uh, have we found this kid yet? Back in November, I was elected president, and things were good. The only direction to go was up. So up I went. Then we delivered the stimulus checks, and people seem to like that. Everyone loves money. Uh, then I, I killed a fly on TV, and most people thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Except for Peter. Then uh, Michelle and I took a trip to England, and she decided to touch the queen. My popularity fell. So I made an appearance on Leno and Letterman, and I was back up again. Now there's a direct correlation between Paul leaving American Idol and my approval rating for some reason. And then the Redskins lost the season opener. And then the Nobel Peace Prize pretty much sealed the deal. Uh, now people say uh, this job is, is taking a toll on my health. Uh, they're seeing more gray hair. And they're saying that I'm aging quickly. I'll just speak off the cuff. That's not from the job. My mother-in-law is living with us. Mr. President, I have a question here. Um, can you comment on the melamine scandal that has contaminated milk and dairy products throughout China? Well, I think it's tragic um, and somewhat strange. Uh, strange because, let's face it, uh, who drinks milk with Chinese food? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Months ago, I fulfilled one of my first campaign promises. Uh, we brought our new dog to the White House. Um, his name's Bo. Uh, actually, his full name is Bo Diddley. Uh, uh, Bo is a family name. Uh, B.O. is Barack Obama. Uh, and Diddley... Uh, represents the amount of support I've gotten from Fox News. Thank you all so much. God bless you. God bless America. Thank you. All I just had to say is it has, it has really got us off guard. You know, you can't can't freak us out like that. I really thought it was him at first. Ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I think you'll agree that given the heat of the public debates uh, we've witnessed in recent weeks, it's great to be able to laugh. Um, give a big round of applause for Mr. Reggie Brown, giving us something to smile about this afternoon.